In this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to add the finishing touches to your story map. Um, we're going to wrap everything up with a conclusion and then um, come up with a solution for one of the focus areas on campus. Um, so w if you are in Google Classroom, um, we even need to get a few things open here. Remember, if you hold the control button, um, when you click on an item, you can open some things up um, without closing the um, the classroom window or the window that you're working in. So I've opened up the Green Spire School ArcGIS um, website to log into my story map, and then the story map guide, which has all the links in it. And I just want to point out to you that there is um, a completed story map for this project, um, an example story map um, located here, which um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up as well, just so that we um, can reference it as we're doing this. So now that I have all of those open, I'm just going to scroll down here to the final product story map resources. And um, the first thing we're going to work on is our conclusion. So I've created a Jamboard for you um, to use as a working document. Um, and this just will allow you to kind of create a rough draft of your conclusion before you bring that into your story map. So um, there's a um, copy for you to, right here, a copy for you to play around with. Uh, one of these is, that's the student copy. And then they both say students, so I'm just going to see which one I can edit. Um, so I've got this laid out um, in a claim evidence um, science concepts or reasoning format here. And I just built out a table for you to choose the elements or the parts that you want to put into your closing remarks, your closing statement. Um, everyone should start with a claim. Um, and then that claim is going to be supported by evidence. And if you feel comfortable adding some science concepts to that closing statement, you can add um, some reasoning or science concepts to it. At a minimum, you should have your claim um, and at least one piece of evidence um, in your final statement. Okay. And so um, the best way to do this is just to create a second page. Um, uh, you're welcome to just kind of delete things if you want on this page. Um, I like the copy paste method. And so I select the claim. Um, I use control all and control C to copy this into the next page. You can't just copy into the blank page without having a text box to put your um, text into, or you could also use a sticky note if you're really fond of using the sticky notes. Okay. So um, now that I have this here, um, I want to add my, my, excuse me, my evidence. And really the best way to think about this is you start with your claim and then if you add the word because in between the claim and the evidence, um, that kind of puts those two things together for you. So I'm going to, I'm going to select this middle one. The courtyard soil is compact and water cannot infiltrate. And I open up the sticky note by double clicking on it. And again, I'm going to select that statement, control C to copy it, go to page two. And now I'm going to just add it, I'm going to get rid of the period, type the word because, and paste the rest of that statement, that new section in period. So now my statement reads, there's no place for water from heavy rain events, heavy rain events to go, which leads to flooding on campus because the courtyard soil is compact and water cannot infiltrate. Okay. And if you want to add some additional reasoning to that, I could find a box that talks about um, water infiltrating through the soil, um, which is here. Double click on that. And again, copy, paste, or copy, and then paste into here. And now this is going to go in as a new sentence. So I could add water infiltrates between soil grains into the ground to become stored as groundwater in aquifers. It can in infiltrate loose or planted soil faster. And I may just add 
than compact soil. Okay, so that just adds a little bit of the scientific reasoning to um, the claim we're making and the evidence we're using to support it. So once I'm happy with this, um, I'm going to copy and paste all of this into my final story map. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and go to story maps. And you'll have to log in um, before you can do this. And I'm going to go to one that I'm still editing. And um, this is the conclusion, so it's going to go to the end of my story map. So I find the last element that I added, and I'm going to um, click the plus sign. And I can add this final statement. If I control paste, I can copy this. Oop, I didn't get the whole statement. I'm going to go back to breaking ground, select all of this. Let's try this again. Hold the shift key and select. Control copy. Go back here. Select text. <laughs> Try that again. And control paste. And there is my conclusion, my closing statement. And if you haven't already added subheadings, I'm going to throw a subheading in here real quick. Text. And I'm going to go to heading one. Um, and this is a conclusion, okay? Now, you can create a conclusion that has some imagery in it since this is a very visual presentation. Um, if I go to my finished story map and go to the end here, um, we'll let it load. So I have my conclusions and solutions, and in this case, I actually used a sidecar and I presented all of the evidence. So I used all three pieces of evidence here in the conclusion for this story map, okay? So in conclusion, we have found multiple factors that lead to frequent flooding on campus, and then it transitions to a different image. Here's my um, statement about the compact and hard surface as piece of evidence. Here's my statement about the school being surrounded by wetlands and some that are uphill from campus with an image. And then my third piece of evidence is the GPR data showing that um, the water table is along this green line here. This is the saturated area, saturated zone of groundwater. And then there's also this impermeable layer of clay that doesn't allow water to, to continue to infiltrate down through the soil. And those, that is the conclusion um, with some imagery, okay? So um, a range of options here from just pasting uh, some text to actually building a picture story, image story of your conclusion. And you could also um, use a video if you wanted to do that.